I sure hope you can see this. Look how steep this, these hills are. San Francisco all over again. Good morning everybody, welcome to the logbook. My name is Jeff, but people call me Howard Hughes. I've been locked up in this hotel with my uh, black soap for the uh, last couple days. But it is gorgeous out today. I'm very, very happy about it. Today we are going south to, and we're gonna roll into the uh, Siskiyou Pass Mountains. Man, it's a... Uh, it's a tough one. So um, I'm pretty excited. The I've done the highway lots of times, but I've never done the a dirt road. I didn't even know there was one. But I figured something out, and we'll hopefully get to it. But first, let's go. Uh, let's go check out the map. At the map, now we started in Bend, and we went down a tiny little bit. Then we cut in. And then we went through these lakes across this. And then we had so much fun, I can't believe it. <laughs> and then we went just before Diamond Lake. Then we cut over and then we went down like this. And then we ended up in Prospect. And then a quick jaunt into Medford, where we are now. Today, is a unique one so this is the five very it's actually a really nice section on the five but it's the five nonetheless so we're gonna cut in at ashland and then we're gonna basically mirror the five but in the woods and then we're gonna get to Wairika or eureka i don't know there is another eureka either way and then we're either gonna stay there or we're gonna keep going in the woods all the way down to here uh, over here so yeah this is we're just gonna spend some time in the woods there it'll be fun let's uh let's get move on before we uh head into the mountains we're gonna go get some food some definitely needed food it's worth a breadboard well there's a sign around here somewhere So I was just looking at the map, and we're really close to the um, close to the road, and we're going to uh, head up in there. But it has rained in the last few days, so uh, it might be a little bit muddy. Well, this absolutely sucks. Well, that absolutely sucks, but there might be a way of rejoining that route. <clears throat> so I'm going to, uh, I'm going to go back and I guess I got to get on the I-5. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> so, yeah. well, we'll, uh. We'll figure this one out. Many thumbs up. <laughs> Off the highway. And now we're uh, rolling to my designed route, which I don't know how much I missed. It doesn't seem like it's a lot. So, you know, let's have some fun. <laughs> All right, we're, uh, we found our road. We're back in business. Pretty excited. Here we go. This is a, I mean, it's a, it's just a gravel road, kind of dirty, but like, it's great. It's super, uh, super curvy. And I mean, it's all downhill. We're coming, the turnoff we took was to Mount Ashland. So you just go south 
uh, when you see the dirt road. But this is great. I can live with this. Can you believe this view? So that's Mount Shasta. And uh, we're actually gonna pass that today, which is crazy. But uh, not if we sit around here and just talk. <laughs> Hey, look, a railroad track. How did a rail car, a railroad track, how do trains get all the way up here? Wow, that's impressive. On to tarmac. Well, it must be in or close to a town. It's really nice over here. All right, well, now the uh, road has gotten pretty sweet looking. Um, you can see the smile on my face. <laughs> uh, a little further south, uh, there was a huge forest fire a few years ago, and I, this whole area has been uh, ravaged by wildfires. Uh, recently, so uh, all of this will change at some point in the day. So we should just enjoy it while we got it. Hi, horses. Woo! Haha! <laughs> This is a really fun and uh, unique road. If they cut out all of these hills to put in the road, you usually don't see that much work put into a dirt road. Oh, really mud? This is my first mud all day. But I'm okay, that's just only one. Doesn't mean they're all over the place. <laughs> wow. You can see the I-5. Suckers. <laughs> Absolutely gorgeous. There's nothing really going on. I just wanted you guys to see how this road snakes through the forest on the edge of the incline. I don't know for sure because there's no signs in this forest saying anything, but I feel like I'm in California now. Just the way things are, I don't know. The, uh, the dirt looks like California dirt. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It is really warm, so I'm going to stop and uh, maybe take some layers off. Wow, this has been so much, so fantastic love this road uh so the the route that i wound i wound up taking uh probably you know 
pushed me along my pushed my destination along quite a bit. So I think I might be able to make it. It's uh, just afternoon. I might be able to make it all the way to you know like the Shasta Lake area. You know where all I don't know. It's a Shasta Lake. I, I can make it to a great campground. Is what I'm saying. So. Let's uh, get this down my face and then keep moving uh, and we'll keep going. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. This has been fan. Duh. Are you guys having fun? I dig it. <laughs> Mini thumbs up. All right, so it seems as though my route goes into someone's house <laughs> and that person doesn't want people in their house. I don't think it's being specific, but uh, either way, I have to keep going around, but we'll figure it out. Well, part of this is we have to go to the I-5, but it's okay, it's short term. Okay, we're uh, taking off the I-5, see you later I-5, and we're going to hopefully hook up with my, what color is it, orange? Orange line. Uh, never bad to have a good girder bridge. <laughs> oh, dirt right away. Beauty. This is really cool. Someone's house. I believe. Oh, not a house. Looks like a workshop. Workhouse. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fall in. Ooh, yeah. There we go. Switch my gloves. And man, this is just awesome. So beautiful. Whoa, Mount Shasta. That is awesome. Oh, look at that. I hope you guys can see that. Wairika, and I'm gonna find something to eat. I'm gonna be uh, smart today and eat <laughs> in a uh, taco place. Uh, I looked at the map and uh, yeah, we're gonna make it down to camp for sure. So I'm pretty, pretty excited about that. Uh, if there's a place down there I can, like a grocery store where I can buy some uh, food and uh, Oh, it should be good. I think I'm gonna do some work on the bike too. So, anyway, back to food. <laughs> that was some great food. If you guys ever in Wairika, Eureka, whatever, go to that place. Just awesome. I am on this rad little forestry road with apparently a. I almost went and put my signal on. <laughs> U turn. I mean, a. Uh, Whatever you call it. What are they called? Hairpin. Hairpin! Yay! Climbing quite a bit. Wow. This is cool. We are really high up. I don't know if you can see that over there, but Shasta, I mean, we're. We're 
We're, high, we're equal to high up on Shasta. This is um, Forest Road or something 17 out of Grenada. So if you want to come and do this road on a road bike, you can. And it's awesome. I really suggest that you do. If for nothing else, the views. And the road has been really curvy and it's pretty good uh, quality. It has turned to dirt. <laughs> and as much as I think that's great, that's curvy and fun, it doesn't do much for my search for gas. There's a sign up here. Hopefully it says gas station one kilometer. Leaving Whiskey Town Trinity Forest Recreation Area. Huh. I don't know what that information gives me or anything. If I can process that in a way that makes me smile. Either way, this is really nice and I'm going to enjoy it for as long as I can. Uh, look at that. <laughs> so I'm guessing that's that one, that one. That's where I came for. Immediate left would be, or immediate back around that one. So I'm thinking that one. Well, third gear was probably not a good idea. Absolutely fantastic. I guess I could. I mean, if there's a water source, I could just uh, camp anywhere in here. Just a little update. This road is awesome! <laughs> I've totally given up on caring about gas. <laughs> oh, it's so good. <laughs> oh. This road is really cool. I'm glad this is the uh, option of all those five options that I had. This is great. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm just coasting. <laughs> We fought to live another day. Never been actually happy to see a shell station. Oh, nice. Yes, success. <laughs> so what I've done is I dropped my stuff off at the uh, camp site. And I'm going to go here and get foods, wood, water, and wine. All right, we're in the market, and I'm in the market for a banana. Not the sexiest bananas I've ever seen in my life, but they'll do. Oh, there's so much stuff here. All right. Uh, Bye. That'll do. Got 
Inside jokes. What's your name? Jane. Jane? Yeah. Mini thumbs up. All right. No, mini one. <laughs> oh. Mini thumbs up. <laughs> With yeah. my glue glove. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. See you later, Jane. Yeah. Have a great day. Going the wrong way in my uh, campground like a badass. But here we are. This is the spot. This is home. Now uh, we've got this lowering grill, which is awesome. And this is a just light the bag uh, briquette bag. Uh, sometimes it works really well, sometimes not so much. But I'm just going to get it right underneath the grill here and I'm just going to light it. This time, I'm going to try something that I haven't tried before, but that is going to be, I've got a garlic, or sorry, it's a, a Greek seasoning that I brought from home, and it's really good on chicken, it's really good on pork, so I don't see why not. This is a very fatty piece of meat, so I feel like it's going to really take in the the flavors thank you train yeah so that's that's the greek seasoning it's all you really do i mean it took me a little bit to mix it all up when i was at home but you know bring it out on the road with you and you've got uh some homemade spice it's the way to roll right i somewhere along the road uh, last bunch of days i lost my machete and it's a bummer because I've had that thing for a super long time but you know it's the end of that chapter of my life and uh, hopefully someone finds it and gets to enjoy it the way I did but I bought this uh, shovel because in California if you want to do uh, fires out in uh, nature not necessarily here but out in uh, the forest in the middle of nowhere you need a shovel you need water so water I've got water bags that I can fill up and then if I have a shovel I've got to uh, satisfy that component as well so this has a little bit of a edge on it so I'm not gonna be splitting wood but I don't really ever split wood anyway I usually just um, you know make kindling so it'll probably work and uh, I'll you guys can watch me do <laughs> fail at it later so uh, yeah all right I think uh, we're about ready for this it doesn't go as low as I'd like to, but we're gonna do this anyway. We hit a good temp. <laughs> I didn't make the super sizzle, but that's pretty good. It's gonna be a more of a slow cooker, I think, unless we wanna put some wood underneath, but I think it's just gonna be a good slow cook, which will be nice. Although it might be dark out by the time we get to uh, eating it. <laughs> Well, it's getting really dark out, so I'm gonna put some uh, wood in here to speed up the process. Oh, yeah. oh that's good stuff. Yeah. Oh, that's that's about perfect. Oh, hello. Well, here we go. I'm gonna try out this steak marinated with the Greek seasoning that I brought from home. Pretty excited about this. For one, if it works, I've got a new thing I put that seasoning on. Mm -hmm. Dude, I hear light taste. It isn't as pungent as when you have it with chicken. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Yeah, that stuff's really good. If you want this uh, recipe, then just uh, send me a message and I'll forward that over to you. It is really good. What's up? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you, me. Flipping the coin. Uh, obviously, south is what I've always been doing. I'm going to tell you about why in a little bit, but uh, maybe a different video. But south. And then let's go with uh, left. <laughs> so left. Here we go. 
We're going left. <laughs> I don't know what that means. We'll find out tomorrow. If you uh, like this video, please give me a mini thumbs up or a big thumbs up or a high five. It's all the same button. Uh, if you want to see more of whatever I do, le whatever left is, then subscribe and we'll check that out uh, tomorrow. Uh, if you uh, want to, I think that's it. <laughs> I'm just so overwhelmed. The steak is so good. Anyway, uh, thank you very much for watching and uh, please, whatever you do, make someone laugh. <laughs> oh, so good. Okay, this is, a, this is a bummer. My tent poles are broke. I'm just gonna cowboy it because, man, I just can't do it. I'm too tired. And uh, hopefully it doesn't get too, hopefully it doesn't get too uh, cold out. <laughs>